Kate Middleton will be hurting after Prince George was ruthlessly mocked, a royal commentator told Express. Co.uk, asking whether one can imagine the damage being done. Royal fans and commentators alike were incensed after a new cartoon depicting Prince George was released in the US by broadcaster HBO. It shows the young royal, who is just eight years old, and his fictional trials and tribulations behind the walls of Buckingham Palace with the likes of his parents Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, both appearing as well. Fury erupted at the cartoon, which also makes a number of jokes aimed towards other royals including the Queen, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, due to the fact its main protagonist, George, is the subject of most of the gags and is still such a young child. It led to a huge debate on shows such as ITV's Good Morning Britain, GMB, where Dr. Shola Mose Shogbamimu argued the broadcast was not funny and that children were off-limits when it came to ridicule. Although the royals are unlikely to speak out on this, royal commentator Howard Hodgson, author of titles such as The King and D.I., The True Story, felt inside the palace, the likes of Kate would be upset that her son was being mocked in such a way. When asked by Express.co.uk if Kate would be hurting, the author replied, Gosh. Absolutely. But you have to just go out and smile and put a brave face on it. He described the use of George as a target as not fair, adding, Can you imagine the damage that may be done to your child if there was a bit of AP asterisk SS taking program, especially if it makes him out to be a bit of a spoiled brat? A bit of a Marie Antoinette character, you would hate it if it was your son. But they have to learn to just take that on the chin, which they do. Dot asked what type of an impact shows such as The Prince, or other less complimentary shows like The Crown or The Windsors, would have on the firm, Mr. Hodgson added. The fact is they will just keep the line of the royal family going and it will be that and they'll just take anything like that in their stride. The more attention we give it, the more we encourage it. The fact is the royal family will just ignore most of it, outsee it and it will just go away. The Prince was originally intended for release earlier this year, but out of respect for the firm, who were grieving the loss of Prince Philip, it was moved back to later in 2021. It's created by Gary Gennetti, who himself voices George, while Orlando Bloom plays Harry and Ewan Rian cast as William. When the series was announced, some observers speculated that it could actually help the royal family reunite, particularly William and his brother Harry. Stephen Armstrong argued in The Telegraph the two brothers could speak out against the show, as both their families are depicted.
he wrote in a piece titled The Royal Family Will Soon Be United in Hatred of HBO's Cruel Prince George Satire The Prince, Blessed Are the Peacemakers, for they will secure a lucrative deal with HBO and unite the Windsors by giving them all the same target to hate. So, all hail Gary Janetti, creator of upcoming HBO Max animated series The Prince.